children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth, nor sky, no grass, nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. Hello everyone, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now I thought I was going to have to look it up to figure out where all the rest of them were at so I can unlock them but um, on my last stream we we've actually unlocked all of them and uh, done them all so now I think we're going at, we're officially going to the main guy now. I think we got the last. We got the last one. We gotta go after. We, we gotta unlock and go after. And that is the father. Alright, so let's see, um... Yeah. Yeah, we got them all by him. We're going at, we gotta get the last clue. Show me what lies ahead.
Speak with Alfred. Did we go in the wrong place or something? Cause I could have sworn it was here. Okay, so it must be bugged or something. All right, we'll just have to reload that then. Apparently it got bu it bugged on me because now it's it tells me I could uh, for me to uh, speak with uh, uh, Alfred, but when I'm, but it won't show me where he's at. Ah, here it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. It, but it uh, screwed up. When I, it screwed up a little, so I had to. Re <laughs> I had to reload it. Come forth, Eivor. 
Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred. He betrayed us. Run shot with the enemy of my enemy. <laughs> yeah, he betrayed him what he done. And for that he will they will pay dearly for it. The uh, the uh, some of the order has been uh, eliminated and returned to Yep. We got them all but one. The last one. I don't know if that mission is over with or if we had to go back in there later and get and uh 
and and fix things and, and, and get rid of, get them too and then go whatever I don't know May I see your stores? Ah, that one's pretty good. You have a keen eye for quality. I feel like a proud father. Look how strong. I can get you that one easy. for battle I must be on my way now goodbye may they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship <laughs> let's look at that now uh, the uh... Okay, mine's a little bit stronger. Uh, attack is better, but um, but uh, once we level it up, it'll be a lot better. I cleared Winchester of the Order, yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she, is toying with you, it seems. I have to go. Then go in peace. begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Ah, oh, look at you, Chewie. Good day, my love. The order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. 
My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. Then we got the uh, them all. Uh, continue the story to find the next clue. I want to see the alliance map. Okay, so we got this place here we can do. Yeah. What awaits in Yorkshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfton Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Just... Okay. We gotta continue the story to uh, to, uh, to find more clues to uh, to where he's at.
get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Eivor Ravenfriend. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravid. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Alf Tanyal. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Shelton Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. and we'll watch your back. Are you wounded? If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! Life, old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead, 
At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donnacaster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? An impressive man. A lot. Uh, a, a, a man like the rest. What? Uh, what matter? Uh, it. It's what. Uh, what his men think of that matters. It's an impressive man. Heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to your Wigshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Start digging. That's way over there. Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Would have to Yarl hold court.
care to test the speed of your fists? Fair warning, Joe. My fists have hammered nails and strangled sharks. Still care to brawl? Swift and strong you may be. It's the one most righteous who wins the fight. Won't take long! <laughs> Fought well, warrior, but here your legend ends, bound to no name. them in spring no sooner that is the plan yet my people suffer day by day your people this war must end that is my first concern the time to strike is, is... when i say we strike Haftar's hammer protects this land tell my people that king Prishia. as you wish my lord this? Come closer. I've done, Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my skulls. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the calls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishi's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Jarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? It's a good, uh, good. It's nothing special. Give me me, me, me instead. A fine piece of work, fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. 
My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. So something here is going on and we're about to find out. We conquered this, he and I, together! You have earned great fame, won many battles across England. I'm not alone, no, no. Bjorn Ironside, Fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I, great warriors all, my brothers. Gold is good, and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Ava. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship is scared. It is, a, it is but a word. You talk in circles. Friendship is a, is a word. It is scared. Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Faller, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Afton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if... Faravid has been disloyal. Then 
We shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> ...unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stop the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. We can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. Honor has two edges. So true. Holy shit, that's way up there. Okay, we'll fast travel here. It'll be close. It'll be the closest place. Be back, y'all.
Alright, I'm back. Ash is over there, yeah. Do you see? That must be fun of its camp ahead. Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking. Father it! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Faravid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. Our raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halfdan didn't send you north to fight the skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? I am here. Uh, he's... He doubts you. I am here to fight. You doubt me? To help you battle the Picts, nothing more. He knows my reputation, and he knows what advantage I'll bring. You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravid. I am here to fight Picts. To your arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! <laughs> Watch for ambushes. Should have stayed in Donacastri. More mead, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back.
sneaky lot. Masters of guile and ambush. Have a care. Thor, we made it. That was good war work, all of This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. Like I've been in here before.
my belly. Not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, boil your head. We'll gang forth with our friends soon, and then we'll all eat like kings. Heed my words. Wrong side of the wall. <laughs> Picked spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dead! Run! Stop them before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Faster! Oh, son of a bitch, I can't get him. They'll tell the chief. South of the wall. Don't. That's the last I'll one. Kill you. The Picts don't raid often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Find and kill the uh, pig chief. Why would the pigs make war in winter? They must have a reason, something to gain. Uh huh. Go, oh, my eyes. The 
this area is off limits. Show me. I need your eyes, my friend. You must be in here. You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ulfur, that's Hafton's share. Eivor! Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. 
The Picts had Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the Wolfkist is a reader. That Stark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. I insist we drink. What's wrong? You won't notice one missing cask. So unless there's something wrong with it, let's have a taste. There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. It's best for us to do it now and then, and then see how all of a sudden sour, he, he, he kills bad. him. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced meat. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk, but I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse, but if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. Your secret is safe. I cannot hide this. Let the gods decide. I'll fight with you, Faravid. But I will not lie to Hafton if he asks. If you tell him, he'll demand we forswear our attack. Are you willing to risk a victory like that? Our glory? If I tell him, he'll know what we intend. But we'll fight nonetheless, in spite of his anger. Fear is fear. I must return to Danacastra for a time. But I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walls. Like his cock, eh? Okay. Damn, that's way over there. Okay, we're gonna have to fast travel here to get him to get back to him.
And the way he was trying, he was trying, he, was, he didn't want him to know what, what we were, uh, what he was up to. If we went ahead and said, okay, we agree with what he said, then we, uh, then it felt to, uh, to me, it feels like we'd be betraying, we'd be betraying him. From history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the Slow sips, Hafton. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned. What news from the north? The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Farovid asked me to deliver this.
Is he taunting me? Ferrobit poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use! Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Faravid asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. Mm -hmm. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Sun is planning an attack. Sun is uh, honorable. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts at Martinus. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again. At a place called the Walls. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen. Unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything. Even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. <sighs> Perhaps you could speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Bianca. We're going for a walk down to the temple. Yeah. We'll do him in a few minutes. Right now, we're going to go and do her because something we got to figure out about him. We got we already figured out about him what he's going to what he's planning on doing. So we got to go with her and see what she's up to. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Afton. Make sure, yeah, we gotta make sure he, she's not trying to poison him. Cause we were tested, and we were tested his drinks, and he's okay. But the drinks she's doing, she's doing mixed drinks, so. Cast about this lamp, my friend. Could be trying to poison him. Moira's not here. This letter came from Week. She must have gone there. Go to weekend. Find more. That's way up there.
small village. Myra's house must be near. Aid me. Be my eyes. Oh boy. Over. Get out. Need to get away from my house, you Oh, goodness! Myra, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to send us. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. I can I can talk my way out of this. <laughs> son, you are um son, you are hurt. Pretend you are hurt. I can talk my, uh, my way out of this. I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It will take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on then. I shall follow. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed, killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back, or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus, e ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. Leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it will be the last thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go. <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. What go what goes into your um, brows? Can you uh, can you sudden really care? Can I care? I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. <laughs> I'll make a new pen and save file just in case I screwed up.
Oh, another one. Bunch of them, huh? Boy, a bunch of them want to die. So the stuff that she, the stuff that she's giving him is nothing that'll kill him. It's not poisonous at all. Have a look, Sunan. It seems like to me he's just, pa he's just paranoid. So like somebody I know. Good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there were traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor, search the perches and lookouts here. We could be spying from above. Olav, speak to us. Where are you? Go, Sudan. Something tells me in the, the person set him a trap. to life. I should carry him down. Help! Oh, that was perfect. Olaf! I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. 
I will see you on the other side. Be on Ton may track his attackers. Get them, boy. Good boy. Follow their trail. Sniff them out, boy. We will paint the ground with their blood. Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. The trail ends, but nobody's here. An entrance. It might be lurking below. You have done it. You must hurry. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. There'll be more rooms beyond. Eivor, something is there. Hold on. We'll find a way through. Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. ...by plotters and... ...schemers! What kings and jarls are not. Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. <clears throat> She also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me! Shh! Listen. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. This is where we was trying to get in before and we couldn't get in. Well now, <laughs> that's why we couldn't get in for because it was the main story. This key opens a door to the sewers, okay. Half done. Well met. Come, 
Fill your bellies with meat. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! Traitors must, uh, must suffer. They don't de and they do not deserve punishment. Traitors must suffer. I'm glad I fucking say this cuz I don't know I'm going to screw this up. <laughs> they they do not deserve punishment. Traitors must uh, must suffer. This is treason. And treason is punishable by death. Faravid treated us better than you ever did. Faravid is nothing, and you are less. Glory! Glory for all! Forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He. <coughs> Forgive me. I, I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Pichiringa. Press him, Eivor. As hard as you can. Never let up. And bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes. Words of poison. Okay, well, I am so glad I didn't say that, y'all, right now, because uh, we're gonna go back where I manually said it before, and we're gonna do the other choice. And see what happens. So now we know who who, who um, gave won't gave them that treasure. And half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with meat. You stole this tribute. 
By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... That was Olaf? Damned fool. We thought he was a thief. The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver. You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl. For battles won and blood let. Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacasta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> Forgive me, I... I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Vicharinga. Press him, Eivor. As hard as you can. Never let up. And bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Greatest thieves. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes. Words are poison. Okay, well, we did it. And he still had to kill him because uh, he wouldn't—he wouldn't, you know, do the right thing. So we had to. We and so he went off and killed. Him. He had to kill him. Like he said, he forced his hand. He didn't want to kill him, but he had no choice but to. Alright, so we'll fast travel over here. Yeah, he didn't want to kill him, but uh, he, he forced his hand. He wasn't about to give up that, that that treasure that he gave him, so. And it wasn't right for him to give it to him anyway from the beginning, so he could have said, it's okay, well, you're right, you know, and then gave it and kept, let him keep it, but he wouldn't see it that way, so he had to kill him. So either way, well, so if we sit there and say, tra tra if, we tra if we picked a traitor one, We'd had to kill them all, but if since we picked that there, only he only he only he killed him, and that's it. We didn't have to kill none none of them. If he had kept his big mouth shut, he would have been okay. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
surveying the area, Sudan. Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfur. Poor Ulfur. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. Riches can and riches and glory can change people. A leader deserves his uh, his spoils. What ha what happened to this camp? What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Okay. Not fall off your horse. See you in Yorick. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I caught that one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yaw? Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. 
I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last time. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Reach your answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishi cannot defy orders he has never heard, no. Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, king. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am... confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I've given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Uh, half done doesn't know. To be clear, King Rishia, half done knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I should break your arms for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Rishia is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. 
We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rhysia will accept them. Hjor of Jorvik could help. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. <laughs> I should break your arms for that. <laughs> well, it's true. He does, and he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> 